Hey there, it's Blair here at Time Trades. This is your tutorial video on the Time Trades declination script. So you're looking at a daily chart of Bitcoin, and I'm going to show you how to get the most from the Time Trades declination script, starting with finding it. Uh, after you sign up for your trial, you should uh, see it here in the invite only script section. Type in time trades decal and you will see it there. That is what you're looking for. Time trades declinations. I am YYC trade on TradingView. So click on that and then you will see the declinations chart be added. Um, below your uh, price chart. So you can see it here. These are these are daily declinations of the inner planets. You can click on the settings gear icon here and you can adjust which planets you want to see. Um, I'm going to add the moon so you can see the fast declination changes uh, of the moon. If you're not familiar with what declination is, declination is the angle of the planet above or below the equator. So um, the equator is, if you imagine a, a plane going right through the equator of the Earth, that is zero degrees. Um, and uh, uh, through, uh, due to the uh, seasonal rotation of the Earth around the sun, the location of the planets with respect to the equator change over time. You will see on the declination chart, there's a, a middle line that's zero degrees. That's right where the equator is. And then there's two dashed lines. These are at uh, about 23 degrees. This is what's known as out of bounds to astrologers, and uh, uh, that indicates basically the, the location of maximum declination of the sun. So in December, the sun reaches maximum declination uh, south, so that's negative 23 degrees and change. Um, and in the northern hemisphere summer, the sun reaches maximum declination north. Okay, so uh, planets also have declinations and you can see here how Mars, the red line has been above the uh, 23 degrees boundary uh, for many months now. Uh, and then it just dropped, dropped down out of what's known as out of bounds. Okay, so there's lots of study on declinations. I'm not gonna go into that at the moment. You can do that on your own, um, but I am gonna show you um, a pretty cool trick here that is made possible with the power of TradingView. You can take the declinations and you can overlay it with uh, on top of your price chart. So to do that, you click on the three dots here, click on more and then move to and then existing pane above. And then that will overlay the declination data on top of your price data. Now you get an even easier uh, view, easier way to read the declinations and uh, combine that with the, the price chart that you're looking at. Um, one thing I will mention here is that future declinations are only displayed for crypto. They are not displayed for stocks. This is uh, for technical reasons, limitations of how TradingView works, um, but uh, I can only extend declinations into the future uh, for crypto. Um, all right, so uh, why don't I just uh, take a minute here and talk a little bit about how to interpret this with respect to price. What sort of signals can you gain from this? Um, look, uh, you should look for three things on the declination chart. The first is uh, a minimum or a maximum um, of any planet that you're looking at. So uh, the moon is the purple line. You can see it's got the fastest orbit. Um, so uh, once, a, once a month, about every 29 days or so, it will make a minimum declination and a maximum declination. Um, so uh, you can look use those times to look for changes in trend. The second thing to look for in changes in trend is when a planet crosses zero declination. So um, you can see here we've got a, a cluster where um, Mercury, which is orange, and the Sun, which is yellow, both cross zero declination right at roughly the, the same time. 
Okay, so that's another uh, potential change in trend signal, and we can see how that created some congestion or consolidation here in, in the Bitcoin chart. Uh, the final thing to look for, the third of three items to look for, is when there's declination crosses. So you can see here there's a couple of examples where um, the moon, which is purple, is crossing Mercury, which is orange. Um, so uh, these declination crosses, this one here on June 15th, this is an excellent signal, this uh, tag below to the day, um, and then price really uh, uh, boosted up out of that until the next cross of uh, moon and uh, mercury, and uh, then price has basically been in a, a consolidation phase ever since. Okay, so those are the three ways to use declinations to analyze price. Um, now, I'm gonna wrap up this tutorial with um, a, a little power trick that I just learned from uh, my friend Joe Dodero, who's known on, on Twitter as Market Occultations, an excellent follow if you don't already follow Joe. Um, anyways, uh, Joe uh, showed me a chart which had these declinations mirrored, which was super cool. So the way you do that, the way you mirror this chart is you add a second instance of uh, the time trades declination script. So now we've got two copies of it. And again, we have to move the second copy up to the price pane. And now we've got two versions here, but for this, Second one, what we want to do is we want to invert the price scale. So you can um, go over here to the scale that's being used, right click on that and invert it. And then you'll get a mirrored version of the uh, declination script. So uh, this can also help you in assessing trend and changing trend when looking at your price charts. Okay, that's it for me. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, thanks for using time trades and we'll talk to you on the next video. Bye now.